morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and Alphonse is here, and he's going to join us for a very special announcement. We're so glad you're here, Alphonse. And we want to welcome you to the news of Camelot. Today's Thursday, October 21st, 2021. And before we get going on our very special show, let's hear what Surya has to say. Take it away, Surya. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wonderful job, Soria. That was so great. We know just how much you practiced and wanted to get it right for your school. Excellent job, Soria. And Flame, the sun is going to rise today at 724 in the morning. And Alphonse, the sun is going to set at 622 in the early evening. And Alphonse, we're so glad you're here. Do you want to tell the dragons why you're here today? Okay, I'll, you want me to do it? Okay. Dragons, Alphonse is here because, as you might know, today is National Reptile Awareness Day. We were looking through our calendars, and Alphonse had this circled, that today is National Reptile Awareness Day. And it's more about understanding that reptiles are great. They're great creatures. We need to help support their environments and understand all the gifts that they bring to the world. And there are all kinds of reptiles. And Alphonse actually dug up a past trivia question that we had, right? Remember this trivia question? This was way back a long time ago. We tried to figure out if there was an animal that was an invertebrate fish or a mammal. Well, guess what? Reptiles aren't these, right? They're not invertebrates because reptiles have a backbone, right? They're not fish because they breathe air. They might be around the water, but they breathe air. And they're not mammals because they lay eggs. Reptiles actually lay eggs. Mammals do not lay eggs. But the idea of reptiles got us to thinking, what's a special friend of ours that might be green that's a reptile? And we came across the iguana, the green iguana. It's even fun to say like iguana. And on National Reptile Awareness Day, Flame and Alphonse decided to highlight their friend, the iguana. Beautiful creature. And it has some cool facts about them. And you can characterize all reptiles by their rough, scaly skin, right? They might have some claws. They might be in the sun a lot, which is a quick clue for one of our questions. But let's just get right to it, okay? So, iguanas. Iguanas. On National Reptile Awareness Day, are iguanas herbivores, which means they eat only plants? Are they carnivores, which meat, means they eat only meat? Or are they omnivores, which means they eat both plants and meat? No. I Oh, we got to do some more research. That I know. Iguanas are herbivores. In fact, they're one of the only reptiles that eat only plants. Most reptiles huh, eat meat only, but iguanas eat plants only. So iguanas, are they predators, which means they're on the hunt? Are they prey, which means they're being hunted? Or are they both predator and prey? Yeah, right. So if they're herbivores, that means that they are being hunted. So they are prey. And do you want to guess what goes after iguanas? Do you want to get any guesses? Yeah. Yeah, birds. Like real birds of prey like hawks or owls. They swoop down. They try to catch iguanas or iguanas' eggs. Are iguanas, are we least concerned about their population? Which means there are plenty of them. Are they threatened, which means their numbers are going down, or are they endangered, which means if we're not careful, we might lose iguanas. Hmm? No, great news. We're least concerned about them. They might not live in Virginia in the wild, but they live all over Florida and Texas and all throughout Central America, very popular in South America. So iguanas, they're doing great. Now, dragons... Iguanas, are they diurnal, which means they're awake most of the time in the day? Are they crepuscular, which means they're awake when the sun rises and when the sun sets? Or are they nocturnal, 
which means that they're awake most of the time when it's night out. What do you think? Yeah, that you got the clue. Very good, Flame. You got the clue. Iguanas are diurnal, and like many reptiles, they like to bask in the sun and let their skin sort of like get a suntan. One of the neat things we learned about iguanas, there are, there are many types of iguanas, but it's been known that iguanas, if they climb trees, that they can fall up to 50 feet and just land regularly and then go about their day. So not only are they brave, right, but they're very tough and they might not move you know, too fast, but they still have the skills to adapt to their surroundings, which we thought was really cool. So on National Reptile Awareness Day, which Alphon certainly loves and Flame certainly loves, we highlight the iguana. Da -da -da. It's time for the birthday box. So we have a birthday. Let's, we got to check. We got to check real quick to see if we have a birthday. Okay, so this says here that we have a birthday for Matthew Zhang. Matthew Zhang in kindergarten. Happy birthday to you, Matthew. You're not going to believe this. Alphonse, you're not going to believe this. Flame, you're not going to believe this. Miss Vickers! It's Miss Vickers' birthday today. That is awesome. Happy birthday to you, Miss Vickers. She loves Flame, and she loves every kid at Camelot. Maybe you'll visit her today, and you can wish her happy birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Vickers. And the mail. Let's check the mail. Hold on. Okay. This is the greatest, Dragons. Look at this. Someone drew a reptile. Someone drew a reptile for National Reptile Awareness Day. And this is from Anthony Southard. It might even be an iguana. All right, Anthony. Very cool. Look at that. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, nice job, Anthony. And then here we have... Oh, this is from Eden Bullock. Look at that, Eden. Eden drew... Or Eden wrote a book. It says, Funny Rhyme Book. Warning, this is really funny. Okay, so let's let's see what's inside. Oh, we've got oh, there are chapters. This is oh, it's, there's chapters. This one here's chapter one, and I wonder if that's an iguana. Oh, I wonder if that's an iguana in the Red Sea. When I went to a whale, no, it's a whale. When I went to a whale, they had to hail all the way to Mr. Kale. When I went to rail up to the sail, they had to hail like I'm in the mail. That's true. That is that is great rhyming, Eden. That is great rhyming. And we might have to get to chapter two on another day. We'll save that for later. And dragons, coming up, as you know, so now we have two days, two days until we have the fall festival, the Camelot Fall Festival. Two short days until we have all these fun activities and a scavenger hunt for monsters, the scary monster scavenger hunt, huh? But if you can make it, just know that adults are free, and kids are $2, but adults are free. So anything you can do to get your family members, or if you want to make your trip on Saturday to Camelot, it'll be outside on the playground and on the blacktop. So, on behalf of Flame, on behalf of Alphonse, and on behalf of all reptiles out there, I'm Mr. Slardo. We hope you have a wonderful day today, dragons, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.